HHN season has officially begun and we are at Premium Scream Night. Premium Scream Night is a separately ticketed event at HHN this year. The event features limited capacity, low wait times for haunted houses, staggered entry, and unlimited food and non-alcoholic beverages. All food booths were included and dining locations were included in the event as well. The waits for haunted houses were not just low. Some of these were walk-in and some of them we entered by ourselves. This is the first year that Universal has had premium scream night. It was an incredible night and we can't wait to show you. Demon fashion couture. I wouldn't be a good treat. No. No. But you're hungry? Okay, we just walked by one of the food booths and asked, and they said all food is included except alcoholic beverages. And I thought it was just going to be HHN food, but we saw another sign with, you know, uh, Simpsons land food and things like that. So it seems like there's going to be other stuff as well. So I am not leaving till 2 a.m. <laughs> okay, first house. Exceeded our expectations. <laughs> that was so cool. There was only about six of us that went in together. They're doing staggered entry. And um, we kind of fell behind and no one rushed us along. Yeah. And it was amazing. Museum was amazing. And we had a two-minute wait to get in. It was It was incredible. That, yeah. I took my time. I, there was multiple times I was probably six to eight feet behind you just like looking at stuff so in awe in utter awe <laughs> like oh universal you blow my mind this was already so fun and the scare actors on point yep oh i already i'm jazzed i'm jazzed okay so your favorite part uh i'm gonna say two favorite parts for the museum because two. we did two we did get to see it in the unmasking tour so that gave us a good preface um the Viking room was awesome, and the, the, there's a very large Viking uh, uh, warrior. It was amazing costume. And one little detail that I thought was cool was seeing all the, like, the rot, the rot, so to speak, the stones along the wall and all that stuff. Getting to see that with, like, the lights all lit up and stuff as you're going through is awesome. We didn't get to see that on the tour, so that I was really excited about. Now, your turn. Okay, it was, I think, the Hall of Mourning. 
was that girl that was standing up. Oh yeah. And blended with everything. Blended perfectly. Fantastic. And they warned us about that on the tour. They said, hey, there's a spot here where their costume's gonna be exactly like the wall. They have to stand exactly in one place to not be seen and uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we just got out of Universal Monsters, Eternal Bloodlines, posted wait five minutes, took us precisely five minutes. What did you think? It was really cool. Uh, I thought it was the prettiest house so far. Without a doubt. I really like the classic monsters, so I really want to do one more run through. Honestly, I didn't have the greatest run through because they kept um, getting the people right in front of me and you. Yeah. So you guys were their mark. Um, so I want to do it one more time tonight and see what it's like. But I thought it was an absolutely aesthetically beautiful house. Unbelievable. I totally agree. We are both old school monster obsessed. Mm -hmm. We absolutely love it. We love the Universal Monsters. Um, and that's typically one of, if not our favorite house. Um, so we were both highly anticipating this one. I loved it. I love the scale of the house. In any case, it gave me the opportunity to walk around and just admire the house and how huge it is and how many different rooms you go through and how gorgeous the sets were and everything. Um, I'm obsessed. That was an amazing house. Uh, and I think it's probably, without a doubt, going to be my favorite. And next Goblin Feast is right next to it. So that's a five minute wait. We're just going to pop in. And maybe when we pop out of the line, we'll just go to uh, Universal Monsters one more time. I was going to ask if you wanted to do that. Okay, Goblin Feast, what are your thoughts? Uh, cool. Very short house, but I liked it. My favorite part, actually, was the soundtrack. Um, I thought it was really cool. It was really fitting. Um, and I'm like a music nerd, so I'm always listening to stuff like that. So surprisingly, it was the soundtrack. And... You do go in this one room and there's this gigantic statue and it's really cool. But anyways, th that was my pick. What was yours? That was my favorite part. The statue. The statue. I like looked up and I was like, oh, oh wow. It was epic. Okay, so far we have already been through five haunted houses. Uh, after that, we needed to take a little break because there's no wait time. I mean, we're just flying through houses. Um, I was quite hungry, so I got some pizza fries. Uh, we tried to get the sweet sampler from the Triplets of Terror booth, but they told us that they don't have a refrigerator there. They can't keep them there. They have to bring them from the back. So we kind of abandoned that. So I had a little snack. Trish went and filmed some of the scare zones. Um, and now we're just gonna try some of the HHN food. I've made an entire list of stuff that we'll actually uh, eat and enjoy. And we're gonna do that and then do some more houses and just keep Keep doing all the things. <laughs>
ice cream, I am a happy camper. <laughs> you passed the Death Eater and you didn't even care. I'm lucky he didn't try to take my ice cream. <laughs> I don't have the dark mark. I, I don't have it. Twisted Tater. They had run out actually before I got over there. When I got over there, they were like, it's just gonna be a few minutes. I gotta bring more taters. And then they have to cook them. It takes like four minutes. So I was first in line. This huge line started backing up. So I was the first fresh, freshest uh, Twisted Tater. Here. Yes, here you go. Enjoy. Please, we're torturing everyone. Save yourself. Like a renaissance festival. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, it's truly like a renaissance festival they, parade. They, they did their homework. This is perfect. This is honestly just like a renaissance festival parade. I know I'm doing more of curiosity. And yet again, we went in by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I struggle to spoil people, but there are two rooms where they do the same scare tactic, and us being by ourselves scared the bejeebas out of me. Like, I, I had to, like, stop and go, oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, and then I just laughed. Like, and, and there was a scare actor that got me five times in a row. There's this area where they can just keep coming around the corner, and I saw this hand in front of me. And then the other side, came out then around, yeah. In front of me, and then the other side, five times they got me. They got me good. That scared <laughs> the bejeebus out of me, that house. Yep. My favorite part was definitely there's, there's a couple parts where they can do things in quick succession where they have a scare from the left, and as you're going, ah, when you turn to the right, their timing is perfect, and they get you again. So I, I was impressed that their timing was that spot on, um, that they had marked everybody that well. I mean, they, it was it was already, you know, right on. So that was one thing that really impressed me uh, in that house. I guess my favorite would be that the uh, scare actors were on point. Yeah. They've all been wonderful tonight. Of course. But in Insidious, they were on point. <laughs> 
I don't think I can do that one a second time. That's <laughs> on one's good for me too. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> of all the staff how wonderful the scare actors have been like this be these haunted houses with these grand <laughs> sets it it is incredible it was pricey i i'm a frugal person i didn't want to spend that much but it honestly feels like an orlando informer during spooky season yeah yeah part of, part of it being this amazing of course is that there is so few people attending but we have both said that Boy, you could double the amount of people here. It would be just as good. You probably still, I bet you still wouldn't have waited more than 20, 25 minutes tops to get into a house. And that is being generous probably. So yeah, without a doubt, hope this event continues and hope we get to do it again. And let us know what you thought about this event, if you attended or HHN this season.